They said I could eat all the fries I want, right? Hey, what's up? It's Vince Leo from VinceLeo.com, and I'm hanging out with Jay again. What up? We're continuing our vegan restaurant food tour. We've hit up places like Olive Garden and Chili's and Applebee's. I'll go ahead and link all the videos in the series in the description box below. And if you like these types of videos, if you want to see recipes, you want to see some other taste test videos, I do all that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing. But today, we're going to hit up Red Robin. Like America's gourmet burgers. Burgers. Burgers and. and very American. Yeah. Very American. <laughs> When's the last time you've been to Red Robin? Have you Dude, been? Dude, it's 15 years. It's been a while. 15 years. It's probably been that same amount of time for me. I don't think I've been to Red Robin since I've been vegan. Yeah, I mean, that's that's five years ago, but so. before then, I, I hadn't been for a while. Yeah. So we'll go check out the menu and see what we can find. You ready, man? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Boom, it's been 15 years since I've been here. Red Robin, we're back. There's vegan options, uh, tons of their appetizers from their wok to their fries and obviously their veggies, their fruits, on and on. A bunch of uh, appetizers are vegan. There's salads, there's about three of them you could veganize. Um, watch out with the cheese and the croutons and the dressings, obviously. More importantly, they have a burger that can be veganized. There's actually a house-made quinoa patty that they use, which I'm stoked to try. And the best part, bottomless fries. So we have three salads. You know, you have the basic house salad. The cool thing about here at Red Robin is the house salad is bottomless. That's good. You also have the classic wedge salad, which is basically a wedge of a whole lettuce uh, topped with a bunch of cool toppings. Yes, you have to be careful on what you put on it. Not everything is vegan. And the third salad is what sounds the dankiest to me, and it's a Southwest salad. There's a couple of things you have to switch um, from the crunchy jalapenos to just pickled jalapenos. Uh, you have to move around this dressing a little bit. Take out the chicken from the salad, add the patty from the veggie burger, and boom, voila, you have a vegan salad. And you also have to avoid getting the creamy ranch dressing that they put on the Southwest salad. Make sure to get some fresh salsa, you know, toss it on there. Or, best tip of all, bring your own dressing. So we decided on this. Went with the burger. There's four different types of buns slash tortilla slash lettuce you could pick. You could get the Italian bread. You could get the spinach wrap. You could get it on lettuce, protein style, or you could get it with the ciabatta bread. Obviously, it's a no-brainer. We went with the ciabatta bread. So what does it have? It has maybe a quarter of avocados. It has a house-made quinoa patty that's toasty, looks good. And it got some pico de gallo, kind of like salsa fresca with some chopped up uh, lettuce, I would say. The bread seems toasty on the inside. I like that, I like toastiness. Let's see how it tastes. I might have taught, I might, might have thrown like some sort of sauce in here, but I don't know, let's go, let's, figure it out and see if they did it right. So the bottom of the bread is a little soggy already because of the salsa. Not a good thing, but let's see. It's crunchy nonetheless, the bread is crunchy, let's see. You can see the carrots, you can see some greens in there, tomatoes. The bottom bread, it's wet. I get the more, most of the flavors in the salsa, I don't, can't taste the patty that well. So let me take that out. I really want to taste that. Well, you see some red pe bell peppers, some quinoa, some carrots. Mm. Patty's actually flavorful. The salsa overpowers the patty flavor. I'd probably go no salsa next time and add ketchup, mustard, pepper, salt, any other type of dressing that's vegan. The bread's good though, the bread's awesome. I want to know where they're getting this ciabatta bread. Spongy. They crisp it correctly. Dig it. 
Good option, Red Robin. I highly suggest don't put the sauce in the burger. It makes it mushy. Look at that. Mush. And the bread is really good, so you don't want to mush up the bread. But, on the other hand, they do have bottomless fries. And, you know how vegans are with fries. Fries are life. And if you know vegan girls, fries before guys. So it's on their menu. They suggest to use salsa instead of any other um, dressing. I know there's some ketchups that have honey. I don't know if their ketchup has honey. I hope it doesn't because this burger would be a lot better with just straight ketchup or mustard. I would also add pickles. I know they have pickled jalapenos too. I would add pickled jalapenos. Maybe I made a rookie mistake and listened to them. Maybe I should have just gone with my own munchies and built my own burger. Nonetheless, it's an option. Red Robin, thanks. You could come to Red Robin with people that are not interested in eating vegan and you could have a vegan for meal for yourself. It's doable. Let's see. So on the menu, right underneath the veggie burger, it tells you how you can make it vegan. In that version, you get it in a lettuce wrap, which in that case, the salsa might make sense. In a burger version, it doesn't. So what I'm noticing with a lot of these um, chain restaurants is they're, they're taking it old school. They're using patties that are mainly veggie based grain base. I just noticed this one in particular had a bean pop out of it. So it's it's whole beans, it's pieces of carrot. Very different from the mock meat revolution that's going on right now, especially on the West Coast. There's so many companies coming out of the West Coast that are creating great mock meats. Um, I personally love them. I personally eat them, you know, as often as I could get my hands on them. And being that there's restaurants that have the money and capacity to purchase these burgers over an in-house burger that might not be as good, it definitely needs to be looked at. Uh, these bigger companies definitely need to consider investing on either a Beyond Burger, an Impossible Burger, or whatever burger that's next to take the market by storm. I do appreciate veggie-based burgers, but when you're trying to reach the masses, I think a mock meat style of patty would do better. See, I got corn, I got quinoa, I got beans, we had red peppers. It's an interesting patty. I've had better though. It's interesting, but I've had better. They said I could eat all the fries I want, right? Give me more fries. Coolest thing about the fries is that they're bottomless. Endless fries. You could eat fries till, I don't know, till you explode, till you have a food coma, the food baby. But what's also cool is Red Robin fries their fries in a separate fryer than they do any other meats. So that's cool, it's a vegan for sure. We asked, they confirmed. And if you're not in the mood for fries, if you're a very healthy person or a person that's into greens, you could get bottomless broccoli. Eat all the broccoli you want. Last bite. Mm. Burger stretch, I just ate a burger stretch. <laughs> All right, so we just finished up eating at Red Robin and they actually had quite a few vegan options yeah. between the sides and the salads and the burger. We tried the burger and it was, you know, it was... Yeah, it was a burger. It was a burger. It wasn't a, it wasn't a gourmet vegan burger no. <laughs> for America's gourmet burger place. But overall, I mean, it wasn't too bad. You definitely have some options. Yeah, um, besides salad and sides, you have a burger. Yeah. So if you have friends coming here, you know you can come here and still order something and actually have a pretty cool meal. Yeah, definitely. So leave me a comment and let me know if you've been to Red Robin and what you thought of the burger or the vegan options. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as I post new videos every week and join the Fit From Food notification squad by ringing that bell next to the subscribe button. And remember to keep living Fit From Food. And I'll talk to you soon.